Well, hello, my beautiful friend, your boy Seth here, uh, taking a look at Post Void, which uh, the game just launches you straight into. Um, quick, quick warning before we get into this, and I, I think I'm probably going to have the the screen blurred right now just to be extra safe. Um, this game is probably a huge epilepsy warning <laughs> just straight up um i don't know a lot about this game but already just from the visuals i want to make sure everybody's safe so I, i'm just going to blur the visuals until we we get into it here epilepsy warning definitely back out now if if you're you're prone to epileptic seizures or flashing imagery uh upsets you um also mature content warning um, I, I think this is probably going to have some mature content. I don't know anything about this game other than um, I saw this crop up on the eShop. I thought it looked really cool. And very graciously, huge shout outs to the publisher for providing us a uh, copy of the game for review. Um, we're just going to check it out. I don't know what we're getting into. You start out the game. There's music. They pop you in here. And now there's not music. I don't know what's going on. But God bless us all. <laughs> Let's find out, man. Let's see. Uh, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna unblur the imagery now. You you have been warned. Let's find out. Okay, hold ZL to slide. Oh my gosh! Like I don't even. The liquid in your idol is your health. Okay. Like, here's the deal. Kill enemies to regain liquid. Shoot with ZR. Oh my god. Yeah, so, like, I don't even, you know, I don't have epilepsy or anything. And even I feel like I might get something from this game. This is intense. This game has got one of the most unique visual styles I think I've ever seen. Holy cow. First there was the void. Then there was a headache. Okay, yeah, I could see that. And a flower of hope that would give birth to a sanctuary. Okay. With his head in hand, he who bore the pain would try to reach the void again. And the game is called Post Void. The place where nothing moves, where darkness is lord and silence its preacher, a place of peace. There his head can pour freely onto a new seed which, with renewed purpose, will sprout life. Dude, I've got no clue what's happening. But alas, ceaseless violence and unapologetic noise would again be wallpapered to the corridors of past serenity. A time known as post-void. A place known as post-void. So, okay, so now we get the start screen. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. This game took about 20 seconds to be one of the craziest things I've ever played. Okay. It doesn't look like I have any sort of... Whoa, what? Oh, I ran out of health! Oh my gosh, okay. Oh, so you, you've got to keep moving and keep killing people to keep your health up. I see. Oh my gosh. Yikes. Got a little more time. Whew. Jeez, man. We lasted 41 seconds. <laughs> My gosh. So is this like a roguelike? What is this? Here's the thing. There's a lot I don't know. 
and it's also I should say uh, this is like um, like a I think it's like $5.99 I'm gonna have a purchase link in the video description um, if if this seems like the kind of game you want to play oh my goodness okay There's definitely some, it seems like, random elements to it. You can pull off those headshots, man. Headshots are great in this one. This ain't like a, like a halo or something where you shoot somebody in the head and they might not even go down. Crushed it. Knife? Oh, yeah, this is a roguelike through and through. Slow. Okay, change your weapon to a knife, hold the slash. Slows down enemy bullets, that seems nice. Yeah, so straight up, this is a roguelike. Whoa, hello. hiding around the corner there. Dude, dude, this game is not for the faint of heart, man. Holy crap. Ooh. Okay. Change your weapon to a shotgun. That seems nice. More shooting, less reloading, and reload faster. I'm gonna try out the shotgun. Let's see what the deal is. Woo! Oh my gosh. Okay. Shotgun's kind of nice. Oh gosh. Okay. Yo, I'm not trying to get rocked. It's really good for, like, up close. Like that right there. I mean, as, you know, as you might expect from a shotgun. The notion that the, um... That your health is also, like, your, your timer... Is also pretty interesting. Reload faster, make sure run faster, change your weapon to an Uzi... I mean, I do kind of want to just, like, showcase all of the weapons in the game. Reload faster, though. With a shotgun, that would be nice. I also don't know how, how different the uh, levels get. Curious about that. Because we're only in Act 1. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Level 4 out of 11. I don't know if that's what Act 1 is. So, or, or if that's the entirety of the game. So yeah, this is like a, a fancy FPS point chaser. Is what you got here. This is like a, a super unique roguelike FPS point chaser. Which, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Oh, right, I forgot you can, like, slide. I should be doing that more. And, I mean, the, the visual style alone, you just, you've gotta just behold this game. Yeah, the, the game is, just the standard clip of the game is so fast that like the extra speed you get from sliding is wholly unnecessary. Goodness me. I felt like I was doing pretty well on my first run there and... Oh, I thought I killed that guy. Whoops.
One thing that was cool is, like, it doesn't take all that long. It seems like the game offers you... Between stages, it seems like it offers you new weapons, like, fairly often. So that's cool. I'm definitely curious if there's going to be any sort of, like, measure of, you know, like, builds. Like, how, how crazy can I take this? More liquid in the idol. That sounds nice. Enemies explode upon death. Yeah, we're going to give more my idol here more liquid. And more time sounds great to me. Yeah, this is like a... Just buck wild boomer shooter... Oh my gosh. I'm cutting it way close. Whew, okay. Slows down enemy bullets. Let's get our shotgun back. I do like my shotgun. Yeah, the more you can... Because, like, yeah, the, the whole... The notion of the, the, the health being your, your timer is really interesting. I've never seen that. You're really incentivized to just go through and not be hit. You really want to dodge the enemy's bullets. Not just for health, but because it's also just going to decrease the amount of time you have for your run. Uh, change your weapon to a knife. Let's try out the Uzi. See what happens. Good grief. Oh my god, what? Sorry, what? The the Uzi is is unusable. <laughs> it's it's unusable. I'm sorry, I cannot do it. Oh god. This is definitely one of the, like, fastest and most unique roguelikes I've ever played. I'll say that. Less slowdown when touching enemies. Let's try out this knife. Oh, you can, like, charge it. Oh, God. Yeah, the, the notion of, like, having to get up close to the enemies is not great in this game. Yeah, so far, the shotgun is definitely... Definitely, like, my, my like, chase weapon. The one that I'm gonna be, like, hoping to see... Because you still, even though it's like, you know, it's a shotgun, so it's primarily close range, you, you can still shoot people from pretty far away with it. Bounces bullets off walls. I guess that's what we're doing, because I don't like the Uzi or the knife. All good, all good, oh god. So I guess that's what they meant when it's like, especially the enemies that like gang up on you like that. Jeez. Yeah, th this game is like if Doom 
were a roguelike and you played it while taking like acid. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm I'm not saying I'm not into it. That's not a uh, you know a disparagement. I gotta say, like, the just the, the colors and, like, the art style, it's quite beautiful. Weird as it is. There's our shotgun. Another thing to the game's credit that is, uh, you know, it, it'd be pretty easy in a game like this to sort of get lost, but, um, you don't. You just don't. I don't know. Like, you just kind of find your way. Like, it's, it's, it's actually pretty straightforward. Uh, less slow down when touching enemies. Point towards the goal. Like, yeah, again, I don't really feel like I need a compass. Slows down enemy bullets. I guess that's I guess that's what I'll go with. In Act Two. Oh my God. These guys. Hello. Yeah. Those are the the same ones that killed me last time. The same exact ones. Okay, let's do a few more runs. See how far I can get. Maybe maybe see a few more of these. Uh, didn't even get a single kill that run. That was ridiculous. Um, maybe see a few more of like the weapons and. So, but but I mean, this is the kind of game where like it's pretty much you know what you see is what you get. It's pretty much exactly what it says on the tin. Oh my gosh. Just eating it right now. Headshots are pretty satisfying. Um, you know, I kind of just want to see what that looks like. What does it even look like? Okay. All right. Pretty straightforward. If anything, I think that helps me less. I mean, yeah, like, I'm gonna be just ignoring this compass the entire time. I guess we're making enemies explode. Making me run faster backwards is a weird one. I don't really know, like, I don't, you know, I don't run backwards playing this game. Look at their exploding animation. I mean, the game is really beautiful. Like, the sprite work and... Like, everything's very, like, well-considered. Jeez. I would, I would, like, I would stop and just, like, look at, you know, spend a run just, like, looking at one of these dudes up close if I thought that I would survive for more than two seconds doing that.
I really kind of want to see where this goes in terms of, like, enemy variety. Just the second they start introducing those, like, drones, they just completely mess me up. They're just, like, such, you know, small targets and they do a lot of damage. Jeez. That wasn't great. And this is one of those games, too, where it's like, um... It's, it's like a Super Meat Boy thing, where, like, it's so fast. You, you get back into it so quickly that, like, it just completely... It's so addictive. there was going to be... I, I wonder how long they follow you. I'm trying to just not slow down because I know there's a small army of these things behind me. Jeez. Okay, let's slow down. Yeah, let's see. That, that I mean, that is helpful for these little idiots. You're also never going more than, oh, I don't know, half a second without seeing an enemy. Like, it's not like you're going to be running around aimlessly for long in this game. Who boy. Give me my shotgun. We're in Act 2 now. Which means drones. Whoa, what? <laughs> oh, God. I'm trying to just get away from these things. I just want to survive... Let me just survive around in Act 2, man. Just let me survive. Oh, God. Oh, no! I was right there! Oh, man. Oh, gosh. Okay. Yikes, man. Well, I think that's... So, we got we got a leaderboard here. We got the, the top global. Can I look at my friend's leaderboard? I don't know how you really navigate this. But, so we, we have a leaderboard here, which is just based entirely on points. What can we do here in terms of vibration, show time, I can change button bindings. Wow, accessibility, oh, this is good. Accessibility mode turns off sudden flashing images. It is not our vision with the game, but it may help some players enjoy the game more. Okay. Let's actually see what that looks like with the accessibility mode on. I mean, to be honest, I don't tell a huge, I mean, there is a difference. I guess it's the flashing. I guess the, the flashing is really what has been turned off with this mode. Can I actually kind of turn it on and off in mid? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the, the the like the muzzle flare and stuff is turned off. It looks like. Is that what it is? No, there's still muzzle flare with the accessibility mode on. Point towards the goal. Interesting. Well, 
I mean, what you know, it, it's possible too that there are like certain flashing imagery in this game that are sort of imperceivable to me as somebody who isn't, you know, epileptic or whatever. Um, so that that's also probably true. Um, so I mean, in any case, it's always nice to see accessibility options in games, right? So I'm glad that they. Uh, that they have something in there in place for that. And they, they say straight up, like, hey, like, this isn't our vision for the game, but we want people to be able to play it. So. Always good. Just keep moving. Honestly, just keep moving. I didn't intend on doing like a whole other run. Okay, this this is gonna be the last run though, for realsies. Oh my god. I dude, I I really hate these drones. They suck. Now, this is confusing. Which way? Okay, alright. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, that was the first time ever in the game I wish that I had the, the compass, but okay, okay, okay. This has been post void. Um, this game is, I want to say like five bucks on the eShop. Again, uh, big thanks to the publisher for providing us a copy of this. This is a really neat, um, yeah, like boomer shooter, crazy over the top visuals and theming. Uh, one of the weirdest, craziest games I've ever played, but also like a fast and fluid and satisfying, uh, roguelike shooter. I don't think this game would work if it didn't feel really good to play. And luckily it does. So it's fast. It's snappy. If anything that you have seen in here in this video, uh, has you interested, I do have a purchase link in the video description. I've also got a link in the video description to our weekly Nintendo podcast um, where you will hear me chat about this game a little bit more. So, yeah, and for more Nintendo video content like this, you're already in the right place, all in right here on YouTube. So be sure to, uh, you know, give us that like and subscribe before you head out and pick up a copy of Post Void for yourself for this just acid trip doom nightmare roguelike uh it's it's a, actually a ton of fun so anyways thanks for watching guys i love you very much bye bye